Quick chemistry tip from Kim Help ASAP. Let's talk dimensional analysis. So if you take a look at my problem up here, you're gonna see that I'm converting 75 milliliters of acetone into moles. This is not a very difficult problem, but students often get it wrong because they tend to flip the density around. So again, if you take a look at this problem in particular, you're gonna see that I've got my grams over milliliters for the density. That's very easy to flip flop and put milliliters in the numerator and grams in the denominator, which is gonna lead you to the wrong answer. Now, why do students accidentally flip the density around or why do students accidentally flip any conversion unit around? It's because they don't write units in. Please make sure you're building those habits to write those units in because it will save you so many points on future tests and future exams. Build those good habits now. So the second problem you can see right here is actually a stoichiometry problem. Now this might be a little bit controversial, but I feel like stoichiometry is kind of dimensional analysis rebranded. Not entirely like it's a different thing, but if you take a look at that calculation, look at all of those units. You're just canceling out all the units until you get to the unit that you want to do. But again, students often have the same problem as they did with that previous one where you had the density. Uh, and usually in this case, it's the mole ratio that gets flipped. And why does the mole ratio get flipped? It's not because you've balanced the chemical equation wrong, it's because you're not writing down units. Now with stoichiometry in particular, it's not just about grams or milliliters or moles, it's about specifying moles of what or grams of what. So again, in this particular problem, we're converting between aluminum and hydrogen. So you wanna make sure you're talking about, I'm talking about grams of aluminum here, or I'm talking about grams of hydrogen in here. So again, if you've built those good habits of writing the units, it's going to carry over into stoichiometry. You're going to be writing your units down. You're not going to get those problems wrong just because you flipped, again, most commonly the mole ratio. If you want more help, you can find me at Kim Help ASAP on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, and at KimHelpASAP.com. I hope you found this quick chemistry tip helpful.